हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर एस एस चौहान एंड यू आर वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल चौहान मैथ्स इन दिस वीडियो वी डू दिस रैंक एंड नलिटी थेरम द थेरम इज टी क्यू टू बी बी लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन देन रैंक टी प्लस नलिटी टी इक्वल टू डायमेंशन ऑफ यू बी बिगिन विद द थेरम From nullity t means we take basis of null space of t. We know that null space is subset of U. Therefore, we can take basis of null space as b one equal to x one, x two, x three up to x k, and it is also subset of U. Let this be. basis of null space of t null space of t ka ise basis lena hai to isme number of elements ko nullity t kehte hain nullity t nullity t aapki k ho jayegi number of elements in the basis of null space is called nullity t and we write b2 equal to all these elements x1 x2 x3 up to xk all these elements xk and then further extension xk plus 1 x k plus two continue up to x n note that this is basis of u f and number of elements in the basis is dimension of u f so dimension of u एज पर आवर एजुम्सन इज एन एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एक्स के अप टू एक्स एन नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट इन दिस बेस इज डायमेंशन ऑफ यू एंड डायमेंशन ऑफ यू इज एन नाउ वी कंसिडर ए साइड फ्रॉम आवर साइड consider the following set b3 ye jo set hum logo ne consider kiya this set is considered from here to here and their t images are taken that you have to remember consider the set in which the elements are these with t applied here like t x k plus 1 t x k plus 2 continue up to t x these elements should be considered in the set b3 now we shall show that this b3 is basis of range t to show that b3 is basis for range t we will prove this and supposing this is proved 
then rank t will become rank t denoted by rho t will become number of elements in b3 which is n minus k number of elements you can count from k plus 1 k plus 2 k plus 3 up to n the number of elements is n minus k so rank t will become n minus k giving rise to your theorem supposing this becomes basis of rank t then number of elements in the basis is n minus k and theorem will follow like rank t plus nullity t is equal to rank t you can see n minus k nullity t is k that is equal to n that is equal to dimension of u so your theorem will get completed if you can prove b3 to be basis of rt if b3 becomes basis of rank t the theorem will get completed because of this our rough work so our duty is to produce to prove b3 as basis of rank t for proving basis we have to prove two points b3 is li secondly lb3 is rank t so we prove number 1 b3 is linearly independent that is the first point for proving li what we do we take certain coefficients certain scalars like alpha k plus 1 t x k plus 1 take the coefficients of these elements multiply add and put it equal to 0 plus alpha k plus 2 t x k plus 2 plus continue this in this manner alpha n t x n equal to g for proving li we begin with this where alpha k plus 1 alpha k plus 2 are scalars and we will try to end at these coefficients equal to 0 we will try to justify alpha k plus 1 0 alpha k plus 2 0 and alpha n equal to 0 and that will prove that basis is l so this can be written as t of alpha k plus 1 x k plus 1 plus alpha k plus 2 x k plus 2 plus continue alpha n x n is equal to g by property of linear transformation this happens and uh, t image of this element is zero so this element belongs to null space of t so alpha k plus 1 x k plus 1 plus alpha k plus 2 x k plus 2 plus alpha n into x n belongs to null space of t because its t image is 0 therefore element therefore this element belongs to null space of t null space of t has uh, this basis b1 therefore this element can be expressed as linear combination of b1 therefore we can say alpha k plus 1 x k plus 1 plus alpha k plus 2 x k plus 2 plus continue alpha n x n can be written as linear combination of elements of b1 that is equal to something like alpha 1 x1 alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 plus alpha k x3 dot alpha k x3 
because this element belongs to null space of T so this can be expressed as linear combination of elements of B1 B1 which is here we have written linear combination of these elements so shift those elements to the left side uh, we get minus alpha 1 x1 minus alpha 2 x2 minus alpha k x k plus alpha k plus 1 x k plus 1 plus alpha k plus 2 x k plus 2 plus continue up to alpha and x n is equal to 0. Now you can see this is linear combination of elements of B2. This observe that this is linear combination of elements of B2 which is alive. B2 which is ally and therefore all the coefficients are 0 and therefore alpha 1 is 0 alpha 2 is 0 alpha k is 0 and significantly alpha k plus 1 is 0 alpha k plus 2 is 0 and continue alpha n equal to 0. So notice that you began with this, you began with alpha k plus 1, alpha k plus 2, alpha n etc equal to 0 and you ended at alpha k plus 1 equal to 0, alpha k plus 2 equal to 0, alpha n equal to 0. Therefore your set B3 has become ally at this stage. B3 is ally, you have proved it. Remains to prove L B3 is equal to range T. So I think you have understood. I can omit it just to proceed further. B3 ally completely proved. Secondly, we show that Li we have proved, we show that Lb3 equal to Rt. To show that linear combination of element of B3 is equal to rand for that we take an element of rt we take an element of rt let by belong to range of t then by in t image of some element x where x belongs to u. This is by definition of range t. We have selected by belongs to range t. Then by must be t image of some element x where x belongs to u. By definition of range t. Now x belongs to u, uh, u has got uh, this basis, you can see b2 is the basis. So x can be written in terms of elements of b2. x is, here I write, x is linear combination of elements of 
basis that is B2 because X belongs to U so X can definitely be expressed as linear combination of elements of B2 so we write this as P of X means something like alpha 1 X1 yes plus alpha 2 X2 plus alpha 3 X3 plus alpha K XK plus alpha k plus 1 xk plus 1 plus alpha k plus 2 xk plus 2 plus continue alpha n xn this uh, can be written as alpha 1 t x 1 plus alpha 2 t x 2 by uh, linearity of transformation this uh, can be written in this manner alpha k t x k plus alpha k plus 1 t x k plus 1 plus alpha k plus 2 t x k plus 2 plus continue alpha n t x n now T images of D elements T images of D elements Txk plus 1 Txk plus 2 Txn are 0 because these elements belong to null space of T these elements you can observe they belong to null space of T uh, here I am sorry uh, actually these elements belong to null space of T x1 belongs to null space of T x2 belongs to null space of T x3 belongs to null space of T xk belongs to null space of T therefore these elements become zero they, those elements will survive they will survive they will become zero so this is alpha 1 into 0 because T x1, T image of x1 is 0, x1 belongs to basis of null space. So alpha 2, T image of x2 is 0 plus alpha k, T image of xk is 0 plus these terms will survive and you have alpha k plus 1, T xk plus 1 plus alpha k plus 2 t x k plus 2 plus continue alpha n t x n so this uh, is this a linear combination of elements of uh, b3 therefore we have justified that every element of range T can be written as linear combination of elements of B3. So RT equal to LB3 is justified. Range T is equal to linear combination of elements of B3. In this manner, B3 has become basis for range T. Now, last step of the theorem, conclusion of the theorem is here. In this manner, B3 is basis of rent T. So we have rank T that is number of elements rank T number of elements in the basis of rank T number of elements in B3 we say 
दैट इज इक्वल टू एन माइनस के नलिटी टी नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन नल स्पेस ऑफ टी एंड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन बेसिस ऑफ नल स्पेस ऑफ टी बेसिस ऑफ नल स्पेस ऑफ टी दैट इज बी वन एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू के डायमेंशन ऑफ यू दैट इज नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन बी टू दिस इज इक्वल टू एन एंड वन कैन इजली ऑब्जर्व दैट रैंक टी प्लस नल टी टी इज इक्वल टू एन माइनस के प्लस के एन माइनस के प्लस के एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू एन एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू डायमेंशन ऑफ यू दिस rank and nullity theorem stands proved this is also known as sylvester's law of nullity sylvester's law of rank and nullity or only nullity you can say rank and nullity yeah sylvester's law of nullity alone we can say so theorem completes here if you have liked the work please subscribe and share with others and tell your friends to take advantage of this work thank you